I'm running out of things to upload because I have not recorded things on my Desmume recently. So I've got like 35 save files sitting there, but I really need to record some more. So uh, I've got a really just weird match today here against um, against some guy called HQ. I think his name is like HQ Complex something, but I can't quite remember his full name because it's quite long and complicated, as you would imagine. But um, a team I'm using here was salved for me, like... Uh, I think SBM salved me like this six these six guys, so I don't really know what they do and I don't know what to do with them. So it should be interesting. Should be interesting. Um, some some anyway. I have a T Tar and a Nine Tails, so go figure. Um, so Skarmory leads off, so obviously can't do anything with T Tar. Nine Tails is the best switching option, and he's going to go for rocks anyway. So it's a double purpose switch. I don't take damage from rocks. Add it to the fact that I have the stab flamethrower in the sun against him, which is going to just destroy him. Unfortunately, Skarmory has sturdy, so. There you go, he's going to be able to live the hit with the sturdy. Uh, and I guess uh, he's wanting to roar here, which he generally just, he does that, that's f that's fine. Uh, in comes Sir Isaac Newton himself, uh, the legend that is Stunfisk. Uh, really, I, you can't even see it. I, I mean, what, at least they could have made Stunfisk's avatar fill up the entire screen. But he's like, he's behind the text. It's that bad, that's, that's how little they care about Stunfisk. They put him behind the text. Anyway, I want to make a sickeningly good prediction here and go for the Earth. Earth power as he roosts and I'm like yo I am wrapping you in stuff and you're dead so stunfisk that's a that's a nice British either it was a crit but it doesn't matter because it's a stunfisk motherfucker and it kills Skarmory's he does not afraid of anything so in comes a Starmie and he's gonna protect uh, I'm gonna protect so he's not gonna why would a Starmie carry protect you I mean some do but uh, yeah whatever um ice beam I know I can live one just because I'm a bulky I mean look at that look how well stunfisk takes that it's a life orb ice beam from a Starmie look how well stunfisk takes that I was actually I mean this is the this was the first time I'd used a Stunfisk, and it was doing work. I mean, it was doing some nice work here. I was impressed by it, is what I'm going to say. But the set that I was given has th Thunderwave and Discharge. I don't quite know why Thunderwave and Discharge, because it doesn't make much sense doing that personally, I would say. I mean, if you ran... I'm, I'm not sure if uh, Stunfisk gets Thunderbolt, but you would think it's electric, it would get it. So, I don't know, I might change that up if I ever use this thing again, which I doubt I will, but... Uh, anyway, uh, Earth Power is going to be my move of choice as he goes to Rapupu, uh, known as the Conkle Durr, with his giant freaking slabs of concrete and... Just painful. He's just a death bringer of pain, is Conkled. Uh, he really is. So he's going to drain punch me, and I'm going to go for the discharge this time. I don't really know why, because first of all, if I go for discharge, there's a chance I'm going to paralyze him and give him a guts boost. Added to the fact that discharge is actually weaker than earth power. So that was kind of retardant on my play. On my retardant. Yeah, because I'm fire retardant, aren't I? Jesus. I really don't know. So. Uh, Earth Power is going to be my second uh, move of choice after I realise my fatal error and realise that, well, now I've given him a guts boost. Well done, Zed. Round of applause for that. That was really mega smart. And uh, he's going to take all his HP back, which is beautiful. That's just great. So, uh, I think the best thing for me to go to at this point is Chandelure. I uh, I think it can do some damages to uh, to Conkleda, so let's try it. Let's, I mean, I'm not sure how well it'll do, but let's try it out. I mean, there's no harm. Let's go for the Flamethrower. Uh, sun is still up, I believe. I believe the sun is still up, so it should do a nice amount. Uh, I don't really know how... Um, why this one had flamethrower I would have preferred overheat slash fire blast but again I did not salve the team so I was just working with what I was given really and would you look at that it lives oh my god it lives a sun boosted stab flamethrower really I mean seriously this... there you go that's that's why Conkledur is a uh, it's just it's good it just is good so sludge bomb I'm gonna take him out fine Conkle this out my way, thank God. Uh, and uh, I've got a Dalek in here, which I believe if I set up some T-Spikes, it could be helpful for me. Especially seeing as he has a Garchomp, so... He's going to Earthquake me. I really had nothing on the team to switch into an Earthquake. I mean, it wasn't really a team as it was. It was six pokes. I was salved to me, as I said. And what is it? T-Tar, Nine Tails, you know, what else am I going to go to? So, I go to Zorak, and it 
it, it wasn't transformed, and then it uses imposter, and I'm like, what? 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 And this was on stream, and I was just like, what the hell just happened? I have an imposter Zorak. That's not supposed to be right. I'm supposed to have a Zorak which turns into something with the other ability, not Ditto's ability. So, uh, <laughs> this was just weird. Like, I, I have this imposter Zorak, which I bring out, and I did not even expect it. And, uh, and I go into outrage mode. I don't know why I could have gone for the earthquake, but... Um, he's gonna switch. I, I was still, I'm still flabbergasted by the fact that I, I, I don't know. There was some saving. So yes, of course, because my voice breaks. But there was some saving errors on this team, and that was, uh, I guess, that was a gaping one, quite a gaping one. As, uh, as we have Zorak here, which is, God, you really? I mean, what? How did this happen? Uh, I don't know, but it was pretty hilarious. After I'm, re what is wrong with my voice today? I'm cracking and everywhere up down left right it's going crazy um so in comes t-tar uh i guess i just wanted to bring the special defense boost back up uh i guess to live the starmies hits uh added to the fact he's gonna go for an ice beam to try and kill off the the garchomp which should be a zorak disguised as i don't know guys i really don't but th this is ah, madness madness crazy madness i know i can live a surf i know i have special defense look at me live it oh 11 yeah Come on, look at that. I knew that he was going to die. So I go for the dragon dance. I'm like, alright, this is it. This is game over. I'm going to win. T-Tar is set up. T-Tar is going to sweep him. All he's got is like Garchomp and other thing. And uh, some other things. I'm like, T-Tar is set. He's going to sweep. Watch him go. It's tea time. I'm going to eat this dinner for breakfast, for lunch, and every end. He's faster because he's scarfed. Yay, so well done, um, Garchomp, for being scarfed. Uh, thankfully, uh, Garchomp will never haunt us again. Um, well, he'll never haunt me again anyway, because he's Ubers. Uh, well, he'll never haunt anyone else again, I guess, because he's Ubers, unless you play him in Ubers. Unfortunately, though, you know, uh, I can no longer use him either to, you know, to ruin other people's lives, so there you go. Uh, he, he's going to kill off my fake imposter. So <laughs> I still can't believe this imposter so rock thing. And all I have left is a Nine Tails, which... Uh, evidently, uh, after setting up the sun, is not going to dodge an earthquake. I mean, it would be great if earthquake were like 98%, and then I got some trollish mishacks. That would be fantastic. Phenomenal, in fact, but not going to happen. Garchomp is going to take the game for him, and uh, I s he still had a Volcarona left, which would have just fucked my shit up in the sun anyway, regardless. So, there you go. He's going he's gonna to take the win. Um, yeah. It was a good game. Good game. And that, wow, really? What's with the voice cracks today? Uh, I really, I'm going to try and uh, record uh, as many matches as I can uh, soon because, as I said, I have like 30. 35 matches backed up. I mean, I'm trying to stockpile these for when I go back to uni so that I have lots of stuff to upload when I'm there still so I can keep my regular upload schedule. Um, and uh, that's kind of my plan of action. Um, I have a much, much better game on the mosh pit today. Uh, that may have gone up already. It may not have gone up already. But check that out. If you want to see my Dragonite moves that video from yesterday, then I'll probably annotate that. And then I've got the Minecraft season finale, which I'll probably annotate as well somewhere. So click those links if you want to go see them. Um, and, uh, you know, go check them out, all the videos. Uh, leave me a like, because I don't know why, because maybe you liked it. I don't know, some people like this. I don't know, some people like these videos. I don't know how many there are, but some people do, so. If you're one of them, some people, then, you know, click the button. It's great. Uh, Twitter, fuck it, book, ah, oh, still in the description with all the other links you love, and that is going to be it for me today, that is the end of the rambling, and I'll see you guys next time, peace!